What's up everybody, welcome to another edition of At A Glance, a series in which I give you an appetizer sample or glimpse into a particular faction in 40k. And the goal behind it is to help you decide if you want to look into that force further on your own, or maybe even start collecting that force as well. So up on the chopping block, by um, Adair, is the Red Corsairs. And the Red Corsairs are a Chaos Renegade warband of Space Marines, and... Um, if you know anything about them, then you know that they start off as Astral Claws. And I did an at a glance on the Astral Claws, so if you want a glimpse into them, you can check out that at a glance. But the Red Corsairs are wholly different from their Astral Claws roots. Basically, the Astral Claws were the big bad of the Badabor. They were nearly wiped out, and following their defeat, they fled to the Maelstrom, but only two to three hundred survived essentially the whole Badabor process. Amongst the survivors, was uh, their chief apothecary, their chapter master that they thought dead but really wasn't dead, and um, their master of the forge, amongst other veterans and, and other space marine forces of their own. So that is what survived and fled to the maelstrom. So they licked their wounds, they recovered a bit, and they uh, came forth as the Red Corsairs after that. And uh, basically the Red Corsairs is the pirating Chaos Space Marine Warband. Uh, that's what they excel in, really. So, what you're looking at is um, a Chaos Space Marine force that started off as Astral Claws. There's around two to three hundred, like I said, that started off their whole Red Corsairs thing. But then they absorbed other Renegade forces into their number. So, you know, make up Renegade force here gets absorbed by. Red Corsairs and Red Corsairs numbers swell. And in some older Chaos publications, we saw uh, Space Marines from some Loyalist Space Marine chapters that went renegade on their own, as opposed to being a chapter or a company's worth, a, you know, maybe a squad or even an individual goes renegade instead. Maybe they were left for dead on a planet and stranded and um, fell that way or got tainted another way. What they would do is take red X's onto their armor, basically with paint, and they would deface their armor, paint red X's over the Imperial Heraldry and the chapter's symbols, and basically cast off their ties to the Imperium that way, and fight alongside the Red Corsairs, eventually becoming Red Corsairs. So that's just a little bit of information for you if you want to make use of that. What you could do with that is just to further spice up your Chaos Space Marine squads here and there you could have a regular Space Marine looking thing from whatever chapter whatever non gray Knight chapter and uh, just put red X's over their heraldry and their symbols and whatnot and um, Basically, you could say that he is a Chaos Space Marine in that Chaos Space Marine squad that is uh, proving his worth to be a Red Corsair. You know, trying out, essentially. It's just an idea to help spice up your force. You don't have to follow this idea at all, but it is something that's kind of interesting that if you're interested in doing that, um, just to further add to the visual interest of your force, it can definitely work out pretty well. But we don't see much on this in later publications and stuff. There's some artwork out there, but um, the Red Corsairs are the Red Corsairs. Those renegade marines who deface their armor that way and fight alongside them are essentially Red Corsairs too and will eventually become full-on looking Red Corsairs. So, um, that's interesting because that makes the Red Corsairs not so much a renegade chapter in terms of how we traditionally think of Space Marine chapters as one single coherent Gene Seed force, but a multitude of uh, Gene Seeds in and amongst this one warband, essentially. So you have Astral Claws, you have whatever other chapters uh, from different Chaos Renegades and different Renegade warbands, maybe even some stuff from Emperor's Children and Iron Warriors and whatnot, all within and mixed together co-mingling, if you will, as the Red Corsairs. So that, that's a pretty interesting uh, thing when you think about it. And on a wargaming level, it's just represented just fine as a Chaos Space Marine squad, but if that was to be something on a deeper level, let's say like a RPG or something, it would lead to a lot of really interesting stuff.
But anyways, um, that's the Red Corsairs. Essentially what you're looking at is a Chaos Space Marine Pirate Force in 40k. And if that's something that's up your alley, then this is the force for you. They also have a special group called the Hounds of Huron, which is basically Red Corsairs on Chaos Space Marine bikes. It's their bikers, their outriders essentially, their force that's really adept at hitting and running. So if you further want a force that's pirate like Chaos Space Marines and likes bikes, this force is also a force that might be right for you. Now color scheme wise for the Red Corsairs proper, what you have is red armor with black and then gold and brass trimming. And the most consistent thing I've seen when it comes to painted up examples of Red Corsairs or even some artwork for them is the torso is red. From there, the shoulder pads might be red, they might be black. If they're red, they might have black trim or gold trim. If they're black, they may have red trim or gold trim. Their helmet is sometimes black and also sometimes red. The backpack typically I've seen as red also. Um, it's not a thing that I've noticed too much on certain pictures, but the ones I have noticed it, I've noticed it as red. Um, their arms, their forearms tend to be red and their upper arms tend to be black, although that can be switched up. Their legs tend to be half black and half red, uh, mixed up however you like, so um, there's a lot of variety and variances in the chapter scheme or the Renegade Warband scheme, or to be more precise. And that's pretty cool. It means you can have some fun with it and personalize it a bit. You can also overanalyze it and look at it as a physical representation of this warband being um, consisted of multiple different gene seed space marines. If you wanted to get real too deep and overly analytical on this Chaos Renegade warband. But uh, that is their armor color is red, black, and um, gold and brass trimming. Whatever you do, however diverse you make your force painted up in that scheme, um, the one sig uh, one thing that signifies them as the Red Corsair is the one solid thing that binds them together is the Tyrant's Claw symbol on their armor, which is that chaos looking fist thing, which is a pretty cool symbol. So uh, that's their color scheme. A lot of potential there for real personalization on applying that color scheme, which is kind of cool. So when it comes to collecting the Red Corsairs, it's going to be a no-brainer that Chaos Space Marine Codex is the way to go. And because they've amassed quite a large number of Renegades as Red Corsairs, the Red Corsairs really don't need to worry about self-limiting when it comes to building an army list for them. What I mean by that is, with certain forces, depending upon what you're doing, if you're really going to get into the fluff, you may limit yourself from taking things. Example, if you're going to play a Thousand Suns Rubric Marine Force, you're not going to take um, World Eater, Corn Berserkers, and you're not going to take Plague Marines or anything like that. You're going to take Rubric Marines. So, that is a case of a force from the same codex limiting itself on purpose due to fluff reasons and whatnot. The Red Corsairs don't truly have that. You could even make up a reason why there are Rubric Marines fighting alongside them if you wanted to. But, you don't have to worry about saying they don't have Obliterators and Mutilators. They've amassed, um, some prestige amongst the Chaos Forces. They amassed a good amount of fighters underneath this banner. Um, so there's no reason to say they wouldn't have a Demon Engine or Obliterators or whatever the case may be. So you don't have to worry about self-limiting yourself uh, out of the fluff of it, really, unless you truly want to limit it for whatever reason. So that's the Chaos Space Marine Codex. It'll work just fine for them. Black Heart's in there, so that's pretty cool. And um, from there, it comes to actually collecting them, and anything that's a Chaos Space Marine kit from GW or Forge World will work just fine. Uh, there are some pretty cool kits there, and um, the only thing that I would stay away from is specifically molded detail, like uh, if something's for a particular warband, let's say the Iron Warriors have something that's specific molded, I wouldn't necessarily go with it, but that would be up to you. So. Um, other than that, if it's not super sculpted detail like that, go for it. And then what you can do also, and this isn't unique to the Red Corsairs, but this is an instance where it can work for you, is you can make use of some 
uh, loyalist space marine bits. Especially if, let's say, you find some sculpted shoulder pads for whatever chapter, and you want to do that up as a chapter who's as a, um, a space marine from that chapter who went renegade and defaced his armor, that works for you. You can also um, keep in mind that they're pirates and they loot and they plunder and they uh, take spoils of war, so why wouldn't they have some Mark VIII uh, chest armor and whatnot as their right of conquest? Um, after all, they do capture ships and whatnot. One example of that is the Wolf of Fenris strike cruiser that they capture from the Space Wolves, which is one of several reasons the Space Wolves hate the Red Corsairs. So, being a force that does do boarding actions, uh, infiltration, piracy, um, hit and run type stuff, they're going to loot, essentially. So, if you want to represent that, some space marine bits can be utilized as well, no problem. It's not, again, unique to the Red Corsairs, but this is an instance where that definitely works out in your favor if you want to do that for further personalization. So, with that said, that's really it for the Red Corsairs. What you're looking at here is a Chaos Warband made up of multiple different uh, space marine forces, essentially renegade space marine forces. They don't really worship the Chaos Gods per se, but you could definitely say that they are Chaos Undivided, and their specialties are in piracy, boarding actions, infiltration, uh, hit and run, harassing the enemy, stuff like that. They are Chaos Space Marine Pirates. So, if that interests you, then you might want to check out the Red Corsairs in some more detail. Anyways, that's really it for this edition of At a Glance. Thanks for sticking through it. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And until next time, take it easy.